Well, this week uh, definitely delivered. It was fantastic for the holiday weekend. 75 Saturday, almost 80 on Sunday, almost 90 on Monday. It was muggy as well. Very muggy on Tuesday, and then the dry air moved in. And every single day over the last seven days has been above the average of 73. I think the last two are about as good as you can get. Mid to upper 70s, low humidity, a little windy today, but who cares? It's great. A year ago today, we were 90. Notice the lack of cloud cover in the sky. That's because the air is so dry. The dew point in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Humidity level at 22%. The wind's still a little gusty, but that will be dying down throughout the evening. We're still in the low to mid 70s pretty much everywhere except for some upper 70s from Milwaukee to Kenosha, Port Washington, even enjoying the nice weather at 71 degrees. Uh, the winds between 20 and 30. Those will be diminishing and becoming almost light around sunset. And believe it or not, we had a cold front move through a couple hours ago. The wind just shifted direction. That's it. The air is so dry, we couldn't even get a cloud to form. Normally, cold front comes through this time of year. You get some showers, some thunderstorms, maybe severe weather. Not even a cloud today because the lack of moisture. But off to the west, there is some moisture with a very ragged, unorganized storm system. This is coming in, ruining our perfect stretch of weather. We actually do need some rain. Grass is starting to look a little stressed in some areas, and we'll have some scattered showers throughout the day tomorrow. It's not a washout by any means, uh, but the better chance of rain's tomorrow night and into Sunday. Temperatures up north are in the 60s. We're in the 70s here locally, but those temperatures will be dropping overnight. There is that little bump in the rain chance tomorrow morning, and then it's like a 20 to 25% chance during the day. That's nothing, but there could be, you know, hit and miss shower. And then as we get into the evening and overnight, that rain chance really starts to bump up uh, and into Sunday. So the future forecast showing you nothing but clear conditions tonight. Some clouds roll in before sunrise, and then there's that spotty chance of a shower in the morning. Uh, some heavier downpours maybe toward the state line in the afternoon, but notice not a whole lot of rain out there, but yes, there is a chance for rain. If you have any outdoor plans, I know there's graduations and parties, weddings, you name it. It's not a washout tomorrow, but there will be rain around Sunday. The better chance for rain. This is Saturday evening into Sunday morning. We could pick up about a half inch of rain. Tonight's low temperatures, believe it or not, dropping into the 40s away from the lakefront because of that dry air. And then we'll get up to around 65 tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a few showers uh, here and there throughout the day. Here's your seven day forecast. Rain likely Saturday night into Sunday. Monday morning, still some showers in 68, and we'll stay in the upper 60s to lower 70s all of next week. We'll be right back.